Welcome to the Footcast. Today, we are addressing one of the most fundamental questions about our own existence. Why us? And why here? For every single person alive today, regardless of where they are from, traces their ultimate ancestry back to one continent, Africa. It is the undisputed cradle of humanity. But this fact begs a deeper question. Why Africa? Was it simply a random starting point, or was there something unique about this continent that made it the ideal nursery for the human species? The answer is not a single reason, but a perfect storm of geological luck, climatic chaos, and evolutionary innovation that set the stage for the most unlikely story on Earth, the rise of a global ape. To understand why humans evolved in Africa, we must first understand that our story begins not with humans, but with apes. Around 10 to 6 million years ago, the ancestors of modern gorillas, chimpanzees, and humans were all living in the forests of Africa. This is a crucial point. The raw material for humanity, the common ancestor we share with our closest living relatives, was already there. Africa was the homeland of the lineage that would eventually produce us. Then the continent itself began to change, forcing a dramatic choice upon these apes. The most significant geological event in human prehistory was the creation of the East African Rift System, around 15 million years ago, and accelerating about 5 million years ago, massive tectonic forces began to pull the eastern part of Africa apart. This created a north-south chain of mountains and valleys that acted like a giant rain shadow. This single event transformed the environment. To the west of the rift, the continent remained a vast, humid rainforest, the home of gorillas and chimpanzees. But to the east, the climate became drier. The dense forests began to fragment, giving way to a patchwork of open woodlands and eventually vast savanna grasslands. This environmental split is what forced a population of apes onto a new evolutionary path. They were the ones stranded on the changing eastern side. The creation of the savanna was just the beginning. The next critical factor was intense climate instability. During the period when our ancestors were evolving, between 5 and 2 million years ago, Earth's climate entered a period of wild swings between wet and dry periods. This was the ultimate evolutionary pressure cooker. In this changing world, there was no single best adaptation. One millennium, a large brain might be useful. The next, the ability to walk efficiently might be the key to survival. This variability hypothesis suggests that the species that survived were not the strongest or the smartest in a fixed environment, but the most adaptable. They had to be jacks of all trades, able to cope with shrinking forests, expanding grasslands, and shifting food sources. This relentless pressure favored flexibility, problem-solving, and innovation, the very foundations of human intelligence. So what were the specific adaptations that emerged from this African crucible? They form the holy trinity of human evolution. First, bipedalism, walking on two legs. This is the very first trait that defines the human lineage. In the open savanna, walking upright offered tremendous advantages. It freed the hands for carrying food and tools. It raised the eyes to see over tall grass, to spot predators and prey. And it is a more energy-efficient way to travel long distances under the hot sun. The oldest fossils showing clear adaptations for bipedalism, like Ardipithecus and Australopithecus, are found exclusively in East and South Africa. Second, encephalization, the growth of a large brain. A larger brain is metabolically expensive, consuming about 20% of our energy. To fuel it, our ancestors needed a rich, high-quality diet. 
This is where the third adaptation comes in, the use of stone tools for butchery. The evidence for the world's first stone tools, the Old One Toolkit, appears in Africa around 2.6 million years ago. This allowed our ancestors to become efficient scavengers and hunters, accessing the calorie-rich marrow and meat of large savanna animals. This dietary shift created a feedback loop. Better tools led to better food, which fueled bigger brains, which could then invent even better tools. Africa was not a safe nursery. It was a competitive arena. It was home to a stunning diversity of hominins, or human-like species. For millions of years, multiple species of Australopithecus and early Homo coexisted and competed. This competition itself was a powerful driver of evolution. There were predators like saber-toothed cats and giant hyenas, pushing our ancestors to develop social cooperation and defensive strategies. There were rival hominins, creating pressure to exploit new ecological niches. This intense competition meant that only the most resilient, cooperative, and innovative lineages would survive. It was a trial by fire that eventually produced one single, globally successful species, Homo sapiens. The story doesn't end with our origin. A critical question is why Homo sapiens, who evolved in Africa around 300,000 years ago, stayed on the continent for more than half of our history before spreading across the world. The answer again lies in climate and competition. For much of that time, the deserts of North Africa were even more extreme, acting as a barrier to exit. Furthermore, other human species, like the Neanderthals in Eurasia, had already adapted to those environments. It was only around 70,000 years ago, perhaps spurred by a slight cognitive or cultural advantage and a window of favorable climate, that a small group of Homo sapiens left Africa and began their journey to populate every continent. Had Homo sapiens evolved in a less challenging or isolated environment like Europe or Asia, we might have faced different pressures. We might not have developed the same suite of adaptations that made us so successful. Africa's specific combination of environmental volatility and resource diversity was essential. So why did humans evolve in Africa? It was not due to a single reason, but a unique and unrepeatable convergence of factors. It was the geological accident of the Rift Valley that created a new environment. It was the climatic instability that favored adaptability and intelligence. It was the rich ecological diversity that provided the resources to fuel a growing brain and it was the intense competition that honed our skills and forced innovation. Africa provided the perfect stage, a dynamic, challenging, and resource-rich theater for the slow, dramatic play of human evolution to unfold. It was the only place on Earth where the conditions were just right to transform a population of forest apes into a species that would eventually walk on the moon. Thank you for joining us on the Footcast for this deep dive into our deepest origins. If this journey into the cradle of humanity fascinated you, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing for more explorations into the stories that shaped us. What other ancient mysteries should we uncover? The evolution of language? The lost kingdoms of the Sahara? Let us know in the comments below. Share this video with anyone who has ever wondered where we come from. Until next time, keep exploring.